So there's a huge problem that I have and that many, many other people have that come from an LGBTQ background and they go into the church. And I want to share a few things that I have learned that I have experienced and that I keep seeing come out of predominantly it's not just only, but it seems to be predominantly the charismatic movement. And this is the reason why I have started to make videos on charismatic chaos, like the link above. One of the things that I'm noticing that is going on in the charismatic church and has for roughly about 20 or 30 years. So when I was 15, I really started to be around people who were charismatic, who really were heavily Pentecostal and uh, non-denominational. And I watched them really push this thing called deliverance ministry. Now, if you've never heard that, what that is, basically people believe that you need delivered beyond salvation. And while I think that there are times that this can be applicable and times that it cannot be applicable, I do think that there is a huge harm that happens to people. And these are some of the phrases that are said in that community. Well, I just want to see you be delivered. Well, you just need freedom. Well, there's just something. And there's a reason why I'm bringing up those comments specifically. Number one, whenever you make those comments, basically, and through my experience and from what I've seen from others and other people that are talking about this type of ideology, basically you put this person in a suspended animation where they're not able to really consider doing anything because there's all these unspoken variables that you're not going to clarify, nor are you going to share with them. You're just hoping that they sort of figure it out. The second of which is that if their issue was exercisable. So this casting out demons, signs, miracles, and wonders push really believes that areas like homosexuality um, cannot just be an issue of the sin. They believe it is a demon. And because of that, unless you live up to some expectation of holiness that they have, whatever that expectation is, again, they're not going to tell you then you're never going to be able to do things inside of their community without having a secret or passive judgment done, the rolling of eyes, and also people standing afar and judging. And it's a very clear indicator that something is off in that community. Now, I want to be kind and gentle when I bring up all that stuff, but the reality is, is that it's beyond just being treated as a taboo, people are devalued. And it's because people have these unspoken things and they treat people in that particular manner.